I think it's safe to assume that most folks in web dev already know what PWAs are. But mm-hmm. do you want to like just, you know, crash course? Like two minutes yeah. PWAs. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, uh, a, a progressive web app is basically just a, a website or a web app, if you will. I like to talk about web apps instead of websites. And basically the only difference is that... Uh, yeah, a, a progressive web app is a web app on superpowers. It basically has two things, which is a manifest.json file. Uh, the manifest.json file, it, it defines the uh, the icons that a, uh, the app will have when you uh, put it on the, uh, uh, when you install it to the home screen of your device, of your, your mobile phone or your tablet. And um, it also specifies another, some other things like the, uh, how it will be displayed. Um, what is the start URL of it, uh, some other things uh, that it has, like, for example, some screenshots. I'll show you that later. If you want to install a progressive web app from your browser, you can, nowadays, you can have some more information. You get like a nice uh, pop-up with screenshots. Uh, wow. You can also define it in there. Uh, you can define uh, shortcuts. For example, if you're on an Android device, you can long press the icon. And then you get like a context menu with some shortcuts, which are basically just URLs in your app. So if you have like some page, some functionality that you want to create a shortcut for, you can do it there. Uh, those are all the things that are defined in your manifest.json uh, file. It's kind of like a lot of metadata. Mm-hmm. And the other uh, important thing, the other pillar is the service worker. Uh, which is basically just a web worker, special kind of, uh, of web worker. And it sits in between your browser and the network. So basically what you can do, you can let all the, all the, the network traffic from your progressive web app goes through the service worker. So you can also, you can intercept it there. You can do whatever you want with it. You can do really nice things with it. Um, the idea is that through the service worker, you can uh, serve assets locally. So what you can do, what you basically do when a progressive web app is loaded for the first time, you get all the assets like the images and the style sheets and the JavaScripts, and you can cache uh, all that. And uh, with that, you can make your web app work offline, like totally offline. You can just boot it up. It will start. You can, uh, any page that you cache, uh, you can still uh, work with it while offline. And it could do some other uh, cool stuff like uh, background fetch, uh, for example, if you have like a music app and you want to download a, some music, or let's say you want to download a podcast. Uh, normally, if you want to do that on the web, you, you have to leave your web app open because the minute you close it, everything is gone. Mm-hmm. Uh, with background fetch, uh, for example, you can have it download stuff in the background. So if you have a, a large, uh, you know, a 50 megabyte uh, podcast that you want to download, you can just close, uh, close the app totally and the, uh, the stuff will still download in, in the background. And then when you come back, uh, the podcast is there uh, for you. And there's also background sync, for example, like if you want to do a uh, HTTP call and uh, you do that while your device is offline, uh, you can cache it. And then when the device comes back uh, off online, uh, it will send those calls out for you. So you have like some kind of an outbox uh, system. Uh, and of course, also uh, notifications, push notifications that are also managed by uh, service workers. So if you have a PWA on your phone and it's not running uh, and a push notification arrives, the service worker will be woken up by the operating system and the uh, push notification will be delivered even when it's not uh, not running. So those are basically uh, the, the, the things that make your web app feel more like a native app like an icon on the home screen, uh, offline functionality, uh, notifications, all that stuff that all comes through the manifest.json file and the uh, service worker. So if you have those two in place, you can basically have a uh, yeah a basic uh, progressive web app. 